uh, a bit of an update on the um, Tim Rice River Gibbs shows. And, uh, well, actually, you kind of caught me on the hot, really, because what I'm trying to do is organise um, my home studio and also, at the same time, de-dust, because within two to three days, everything ends up covered in dust in here. It's just one of those things uh, with having a PC and fans and all these other different things kind of running. Um, yeah, it's kind of inevitable. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a few people asked me actually what I was using, and uh, I'm happy to show that on the mixer side, uh, particularly my mother, because she said, how are you recording those shows? Have you got, like, a, you know, well, I'll show you. Uh, I've gone through a few mixers of late, uh, including one called Alessis, uh, which is supposed to be quite a good mixer. I've had a few mixers before that, actually. Uh, but the Alessis just packed up and... Uh, uh, if you're not familiar with all these things, some microphones actually need power uh, for them to run, uh, 48 volts. Uh, this mixer on the left, if I do have a pad mic, I'm not using a pad mic at the moment, um, I can press that button, that will give me 48 volts. Anyway, but let's look at this one on the right, because that's the one that the microphone's going through. Now, what I will say about it is, um, I'll say these both made in fire. This is a bit of a gimmicky thing, really, um, because it's got these ridiculous kind of predetermined sounds like <coughs> well that's of a tell a bad joke I guess but I would not use any of those um, the reason I'm using this is because I've got four button buttons along the bottom um, which I need to label that's the other thing I've got to do today which has got my four main jingles on the ones I use all the time uh, such as you're listening to the eclectic world of Tim Rice on the Overflow Sunday service. It's a bit bizarre, a bit odd, you know what I mean, Ken? Oh, I do, yes. Yeah, so I now run all my jingles from here, uh, simply because it's just much, much easier to um, uh, just hit a button. Uh, what I was having to do before was I used this program called MIXXX, uh, which uh, I bring all my music tracks into. I haven't got any loaded at the moment. That's why left and right is sort of greyed out, more or less. Uh, and I've got a huge library of stuff that I can pull on at any time. And uh, I used to have my jingles along here. You see, like t Tim Rice intro, uh, a bit odd, uh, the River Gibbs jingle, that sort of stuff. But that was always awkward for me, having to queue up tracks and hit the jingle button. Um, so I got this purely to program those four buttons so the rest of it is kind of useless um, and I don't do this but I could do this if I wanted to pop hang on let's do MC oh it's pitch female oh Mr Rice I come from Smithic yeah pro well I w <laughs> I wouldn't do maybe through that. I'd do it a different way. But I could if I wanted to. I could do it on the fly. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'd do that. But she's got a slight echo with her, which I'm not over keen on. Uh, but anyway, that's what I use that for. It takes a while to get all these things set up. And I know it looks complicated. But once you've got it set up, you don't really have to change anything. You're only touching a couple of buttons. Over on the left, um, in here I've got the fed, the mic, and something else um, I forget what it is <laughs> but I've got a couple of things fed into this and then all of that goes into that up there and until today I was using one of these you know one of those kind of mics uh, but I just well apart from the fact you've got to remember to talk into the damn thing um, it was just awkward and uh, I, I mentioned earlier today on Facebook that I was around the back of a binger hall in a pile of rubbish and I found a headset mic and it looked like quite a pricey one. came with a transmitter and stuff. I don't know if the transmitter works. Um, but anyway, I chucked the microphone in the drawer and I just thought I'd plug it in today. And I kind of like it because it's hands-free and uh, it doesn't matter where I turn my head, the volume is always the same. Uh, so I will probably switch to this mic. Uh, I'll, I'll need to get the angle of it just right. I'm still working on that. I say today uh, it's organised my office day, get all these cables out of the way because there's an awful lot of them, and uh, it just makes things unwieldy. Uh, lucky th there's no one in my life to moan about this, but I know that women in particular hate cables. They really do. 
And there's an old story of a woman who <laughs> got so fed up with her husband's hi-fi cables, she went round with a pair of scissors and snipped them anywhere they appeared. And he came home, didn't say a word, went into the kitchen, shut the door. There was an awful lot of banging and, and clattering going on in the kitchen. And he came out and sat down with a, a can of beer. And when she went out into the kitchen, he'd completely dismantled the oven. <laughs> one of those in it so anyway that's what i use this particular mixer comes under different brands this one's called tayan well under 30 quid you might get it for 22 quid if you're lucky get it within a couple of days good little mix of that not too much noise in it which i quite like this one uh i think it's really aimed at the under 13 market really because of these stupid sound effects i mean when am i ever going to use those um, but for the average jingle, you're listening to the Overflow Sunday service on River Gibbs FM. Yeah, it works quite well, don't you think? So that is how I record a show. I do it on these, and it's a little noisy today. I've got the window open. I don't normally have the window open when I'm recording, uh, but that's how I do it, and I've got it right down to a space. Well, it's not even two foot wide and uh, a lot simpler than it used to be in the old days when we used to have to have turntables and tape decks and all the rest of it. Everything running through this is digital and uh, pretty easy to fold away. So what I may do when I've got it wired up correctly is put it in a wooden tray, group all the cables together, label them the other end so I can just literally pull the whole studio out if I want and then just plug it in. The only difficulty comes is um, I've got two sound cards in my PC and what I'm trying to do is feed the music from this back into the mixer so I can monitor it and then record it. Uh, that's my other job for today. But at the moment, it's all about dusting and getting this place organised into a way that I can actually use it. There you go. That's it. That's the Tim Rice Show. 